artist Hannah Jensen's latest solo exhibition, Wild, is the result of many years of planning and hard work, celebrating the beauty of animals in the wild and emphasising their textures. These works have all been hand carved. 140 litres of paint have gone into them and they are all in Hannah's very own unique style. It is so great to have you back on the cafe, Hannah. Thanks yes, so welcome. 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 I'm a gorgeous friend. I've been watching you on Instagram go through the development of all of this and you've just been working so hard. So congratulations for starters. Thank you so much. Um, your father had a game reserve in South Africa. Is this where the passion came from? Definitely stemmed from that. My first trip to South Africa was when I was nine and I just fell in love with the animals and it's kind of been a development since then. Yeah. And he passed away two years ago, didn't he? That's so right. has this had any sort of bearing on what you've decided to do now? Yeah, this is this shows like a dedication to him in the time that you know I spent with him on the game farm. It was just such a beautiful place to be and the animals roaming and I spent hours walking around that place. He'd be very proud of you. I hope so. <laughs> no, he will be in beautiful work, can I just say. I mean, I've, I've seen some clips and it just looks insane. Thank so good you. luck for tonight's opening. I'm super excited. How long has it taken to put it all together? This particular show, five years ago, I had a show at All Press Studio. And I just, after that, there was 50 small works. I was like, I want to go large. And it's taken about five years to get there, but I'm back there and I'm doing <laughs> it. So eight large scale works, 140 litres have been layered onto these boards and I've just carved them away. So how much is 140 litres of paint? Like compared to a house. That's a, that's a house paint, isn't that's it? That's like, you're talking like 10 litre pails, that's what, it's 14, 10 litre pails that's or something? A, that's, <laughs> a, that's a lot, lot of paint. That's a lot of paint. <laughs> that's a lot of paint. I mean, yeah. you had a solo show last year, didn't you, uh, as did. part of Art Week, which was wild in the making. Was that sort yes. of like a work in progress? I wanted to show and share my journey of how I carve, because this is uniquely carved. No one else really does this in the world. So, yeah, people could come into the, um, the gallery at Endemic World and see me working on them. So, And then now I show the full show, all of them finished, and they get to see them finished. And how important is that feedback? You know, people sometimes, I guess, are honest and give you opinions. <laughs> it's quite incredible how honest some people are. <laughs> I'm like, you just take it as a grain of salt. Um, most of it's positive. It really is really positive. And people fall in love like with just how it's made and the dedication that goes into it. But not everyone can fit a two and a half metre zebra on their wall. True. So just, I want to open up that art market to, the, to coming and viewing artwork. It's not in a gallery or a museum where people aren't well and so I just make it, made it really welcoming. It's nice, nice. and relaxed. Yeah. I, yeah. Want, I want to know what, um, the, the, what goes into the making of them because you paint, don't you? So you That's put a, a layer of paint, then yes. another layer of paint. Yeah. How many layers? Five weeks of layering. So up to 70 layers go on these boards. And they're all different colours? All different colours. Well, in the leopard, it, like, it's four colours. So you're, like, And then I, each colour has about 16 or 17 coats and that builds up a and then, you, and then you carve down to the different colours. That's correct. So yep. you could muck it up quite easily, couldn't you? And I you can't look. go back and fix it. I'm human, I make mistakes, for oh, sure. Oh, no. <laughs> um, well, I'll tell you what, we, I just saw the leopard on screen, so yep. let's take a look at some more and you can talk us through them. Okay, because cool. these are This is beautiful. a polar bear. Yep. So, I mean, this show is about just bringing awareness to um, how many amazing creatures there are in this planet. So they're not all African, but there's a lot of African-themed um, animals in this show. Um, so, yeah, polar bear carved into probably 13 litres of paint. How wow. big would that be? Um, um, that's nearly two metres long. So it's huge. By 1.5 metres. And all done yeah. with tiny, tiny little cut Tiny marks. chisels. This <gasps> is a greater kudu. This, this is into 17 litres of paint. So 65 layers layered up and then just hand chipped away. <laughs> 65 um, layers? Just, yeah. So it's about wow. 1.8 metres long. And you can see me kind of like in comparison how, how big the works are. And using that technique, you know, what sort of texture and, and dimension does it it's give the It's basically picture? like a large lino cut. You just you did lino oh. cutting at yes, school. I, did. I, I did love lino, lino cutting. cutting, but my you lino cutting did not look like that. <laughs> you could technically print from these. You could, but I don't. So I show the wood block themselves. So right. I create my own lino by layering up the layers. So it's very acrylic based. This is the piece I did when I was um, 21 on my dad's game farm, which was actually flowing back. And it's, I'm going to show that in the show. Um, oh, beautiful. So people wow. can see the comparison from when I was 21 to now. So how 34. did you develop your technique? I mean, it's quite, it's quite unique, isn't it? It is. I mean, trial and error when I was at university. Um, right. Just layered up a whole bunch of paint onto boards and by accident, too many layers and got carving. So I was carving into wood and then the paints is kind of an added layer. So it's built up from there. Now, you strike me as a bit of a perfectionist. So when <laughs> do you know? <laughs> When do you know it's finished? When, do, when does Hannah sit back and go, oh, I'm pleased, this Don't is done. put another touch on there. <laughs> um, well, I used to just carve. So I used to layer and carve. Now I actually work back into them. So the horses you would have seen before actually have three layers of resin dripped on top of them to um, kind of create the water, making it look like really wet. 
So I mean, now I just add a whole other layer and work back into it and do all these things to really bring them to life. That's not even finished that piece there. That's kind of like a couple of weeks ago. So hang on, so you're opening tonight. <laughs> opening tonight, they're on the wall. So actually, you guys have some delicious plants here. Mark from High Plants dropped off a whole jungle of tropical <gasps> palms. Beautiful. So you're gonna walk into the gallery, palms are up. St. Clements have provided beautiful um, furniture. Oh wow. So you can sit amongst them, drink an espresso martini, have a glass of wine and appreciate the art. Sounds beautiful. Do you have an absolute favourite in the show? Ah, uh, whoa. They're all your babies. I probably, I think the horses that we yeah. saw before, like that's the biggest work I've ever done, 34 litres of paint, really pushed myself and my technique and all that. And so just, yeah, I'm proud of that. But all of them are amazing. Like, I'm, I'm proud of them, yeah. And Kiwis are very supportive of local artists. Yeah, they are. Is it hard in this country, though, to get them to spend money? <laughs> it's, it's a little, yes, yes. Yeah, I yeah, mean, they yeah, love yeah. it. They're, but the oh, nice thing is, for yeah. the first time, I'm actually making prints of the carvings. I've never done nice. that before. So I'm making either limited edition prints of large, large prints, or you can get an A3 of an unlimited of print. And so you can come in and get a print for under $100 oh, and it takes a little bit. So it just makes it more. It's a little, Hannah's my friend. I'm so glad she's on the show talking about it. I missed it last time. Thanks, Mel. Um, thank you, Hannah. Hannah Jensen's latest solo exhibition, Wild, takes place in Auckland from today until the 27th of April. You can check out Hannah's website for details and to see more of her work as well. Yeah, make sure you do that. Go and support oh. our local artists. I'll be there. I'll be there. Yeah, she'll be there. <laughs> She'll be there looking after you.